Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. All right, y'all. So I have this adorable little gnome from the Dollar Tree. They had all kinds of different styles. We're going to give this a bit of a makeover. So I'm just taking my heat tool and just kind of removing the leaf. You do have to be very gentle with it and make sure not to put too much heat onto the felt or you will melt it. So I removed the leaf. I cut off the feet and I also cut off the tag. Now, this little gnome was a little bit too bright for me, so I wanted to dull it up a little. So I'm taking two colors and mixing them together and just dry brushing those colors onto the gnome all over the orange and the yellow felt. I believe the two colors I used were Fawn and Honey Brown from Deco Art. So I just mixed them together, um, but you could do any sort of like taupe or tacky, I'm sorry, khaki or tan kind of a color. Um, and so you can see how that has just slightly um, muted it a little bit. So I'm going to do that on the orange as well and also on the arms. So I'm just taking a little bit of paint in my brush and wiping all the excess off so that the brush is kind of dry and then just going over that um, to just mute it up a little bit. So this little gnome um, is so cute once it's finished. And honestly, these gnomes don't take a lot of work um, to make them look so much better. But you can see there from comparing the other one how different it looks already just by doing those few steps. Okay, so next we are going to paint our shoes. Now these little shoes came from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of six, I believe, and they're in the section with the baby uh, party stuff. I'm going to paint them black. I'm using a black paint by Deco Art, um, which will be out soon. It's from the At Home Collection. Anything that will stick to plastic, uh, so chalk paint is a good option for that, or you can use any kind of Deco Art um, or any kind of acrylic paint that's a multi surface. Um, so I'm going to do two or three coats on here. I'm not worrying so much about the bottom, although you could paint that if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do a few coats and you can see how those shoes just transform. They're absolutely adorable. So it um, looks like I did three coats and then I'm just going to let these set aside and kind of cure a little bit before we move on to the next step on the shoes. Okay, so next for our uh, little gnome, we are going to start jazzing it up a little bit. And um, I decided I wanted to do a scarecrow gnome. So we're going to take some raffia and add some raffia to the top. So what I did is just kind of bundled it up. And then I'm just kind of putting some glue all the way around the tip and then putting that raffia on the top of the hat. And then I took another piece of raffia also and just wrapped around the top. Then I'm using my heat tool again to kind of remove and separate the hat. And then I'm going to put in a wool ball instead of that little pom-pom that was there. And we're gonna add in some raffia underneath the hat as well. Um, just to, again, bring home this whole scarecrow look. So. We're not going to do anything else special to the hat, but just by lifting it up and then adding in that raffia underneath truly makes a difference. And I chose to leave the little yarn pigtails, but you could also, if you wanted to remove those and then go back with um, some braided raffia for the little pigtails as well. So after I got all the raffia in there, I just glued the top and the bottom, and then I'm going back in and cutting off any excess raffia as well as any loops that may have been in there. I just went ahead and cut those also. Now I did think about putting some raffia on the hands, but I ended up not liking the way that was going to look. So I just decided against that portion. All right, so I'm going to take some ribbon. This is ribbon from Dollar Tree. It's a little plaid ribbon, and I'm just going to cut some little squares out of it, removing that um, wire. And these are going to be just some little patches. So 
Uh, I did kind of remove some of the edging as well to leave it frayed. And then I just took a piece of raffia and did the little X pattern on it so it looked like it was sewn on. Now, I decided to do a little bit of denim on here. Can't really do overalls. So I chose to do an apron and I started with a square or a rectangle and I laid it on the gnome and then just decided a little bit at by little bit how I wanted to cut it. And so I first started out by just cutting a square at the top and then I just cut the arm sections out and then I'm just gluing it a little at a time. So started at the bottom and then I just came up the sides and I just did the apron just right on the front portion of the gnome. And then we are going to add a um, pocket to the front. So we're gonna do cut a little piece of our denim into a little rectangular piece and then glue that on so we have a cute little pocket. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of our raffia inside the pocket just to add more of that scarecrow look to it. And then I am going to do another little patch from this ribbon onto our little pocket. All right, y'all, this is looking so stinking cute. So now we're going to get to our shoes. Our shoes are, they look really great, but they're just a little bit, um, a little bit new looking. So I'm going to take some raw umber or some burnt umber paint and just kind of sponge that on. Not putting a ton on, I did kind of make sure that my sponge was a little dry. So then we're going to glue these on. I'm just putting my glue right on the top of my shoes and then I'm just going to set my gnome right on top. And um, y'all, how stinking cute is he? I just love the way that he turned out. We did play around with a few options for our little gnome to hold, but in the end, I liked him just the way that he was. So I kept it simple. Thank you all so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me during this little craft. I hope you have a great time, a great day. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. I would so appreciate it. Bye everyone.